Hey everybody, welcome to Lanada Bay. We're going to take a look at the notorious and now demolished Lanada Bay Hut Fortress Platform. It's located at the far right of your screen here on the tip of that point. It's very hard to see from far away due to the materials used and well-built construction by the locals. It's kind of blending in as a natural camouflage to the outsiders. First, let's look at a few waves as mentioned later on in this video by myself and my co-host during a large west winter swell. As you can see, uh, as the wave comes in here, these guys are going to find themselves in a spot you do not want to be in. Caught inside at the bay. A uh, lot of white water, a lot of energy out there. What you don't see, just a few feet below that surface, is a thick kelp bed that can really tangle you up. So it's very dangerous out there at Lanata Bay, a lot more than you could see in this video. Uh, these guys are down for a while, and as they slowly pop up, uh, you can see they're just ready for the next uh, whitewater to come in and smoke them. Uh, we snuck in here during a late September flat season type of deal. It's very risky. It's really the only way we could have pulled this off, and we got into the hut platform. Uh, we're going to take a look at the trails and everything. Uh, right now, I want to show you a left peak that comes in outside the bay that we mentioned in the video. Um, my co-host Rick talks about a 1982-83 El Nino swell that he's seen that left go for miles. Okay, around the indicator, through the Palos Verdes Cove, through the ski jump, around Haggerty's, and ending up pounding Torrance Beach. Uh, he talks about the Redondo Beach Breakwater Harbor just being maxed out and washing over. Here's a little in-between wave. You know, if you want to take the, the risk of getting caught inside, uh, that, those little waves are kind of fun too. Uh, once again, as I mentioned in this video, it was very risky getting in. So we went late September to get in that, the, into the uh, Hut Fortress. And uh, we pulled it off in one piece. And our car was okay. Although I did have to move it a few times. Uh, the, the locals don't even want you parking in front of their house. Uh, here's Avalanche. I surfed this place a couple times. It's actually better than it looks. It looks like a big mush ball. It kind of is, but it's very fast. You can get some good carve and uh, some good turns in there. It's just a lot of dry reef. But what I did is I just kind of took off on that little shoulder right there. And I got a few rides. As we pan back, you can see it's actually a very dangerous wave out there. You're pretty far out there. The bottom is very sharp. And there's a lot of rip current coming from the right at Lanada Bay over there. Also, later on in the video, we're going to take a look at the dangerous trails down to the beach. And uh, pretty much treacherous uh, rocky shoreline walk. Here's a big set coming in. One of the Lanada Bay locals took off. I talked to him. He said he was way underboarded on this wave. It looks like he kind of bailed out, but he told me, you know, he skipped out. His board was just too small for this wave. And um, he was down a long time. He told me he saw stars, and uh, he actually thought he was going to drown out there on that wave right there. That From the video up on a 100-foot cliff here, it doesn't look that bad. Here's my buddy Rick. He's going to sing a little karaoke for you, and let's get into this video. Nazi sunshine. On a cloudy day. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is Rick Meeks here at Lenata Bay with Huntington Henry's video chat. No. no. Come on, Rick. Uh, this is my show. It's Henry Surf Showcase on YouTube, and I'm sitting here at the beautiful Lenata Bay. Palos Verdes, California. I'm with my buddy here, Rick, my my surfing buddy, bodyguard, you might say. You kind of need one of those down here, don't you, Rick? Oh, yeah. Lunata Bay is locals. We're, we might get worked over just being sitting right here. Nah, you could take care of him, Rick. I know. He doesn't look like much, but this guy's like a fifth degree black belt. Uh, Juan Quitsu Chido. All right, take two. Never mind. Forget this guy. He's, he's nothing. You can come down here and kick his ass right now, Lunata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, try. No, it's the rocks they throw at you from the top when you got your surfboard in your hand. You got to watch out. The, the punks got to earn their, their stripes, and they will throw rocks at you as you are walking down. And they're hairy ball cliffs. They are, I mean, nothing to be, uh, when they get wet in the wintertime, and they are slippery. Uh, there's actually a lot of lives lost up here on these cliffs. And uh, be real careful care, um, coming down, and uh, be real careful of the locals. <laughs> and real respectful. 
I'm more worried about my car than anything because we need a ride home. But uh, yeah, make sure when you park here, you don't kind of, you know, have a surfboard rack on top or something like that. I don't know. They don't seem to go friendly on that kind of stuff around here. They don't go friendly on any car. Don't walk down here with surfboards in your hands. See everybody see you with surfboards getting out of your car. You can hide. You best bet is to have somebody drop you off <laughs> and drive away and call them when you're done. Now, the last time we were here, because, you know, uh, we're from Huntington Beach area. And they hate us. And they hate us big time. But we're sitting here in their uh, nice little shed, uh, the shack they built. And, hey, you know what? I hear the city, they want to destroy this. I say, no way, man. They did a fine job building this. This is bitching right here. I mean, but the, the cliffs up above it falling on top, I'd be worried about that But because uh, they're getting pretty hairball. But I'm telling you what, this is, this is, <laughs> What do you call it? Nirvana right here. This place is bitching. I, I lived in Hawaii, and I'm telling you what, this is comparable to anywhere in the world at the beach. And as far as wave size is concerned, it will handle the biggest waves in the world. Whatever, it is, whatever the swell is, it will handle a straight west, guaranteed. And if you want to hit, I mean, you know, test your limits, this is the spot in Southern California. All the way around, test your limits in the water and out of the water. <laughs> but no, they did a really fine job building this. This is a top-rate job, and it'd be really a shame to have this destroyed. Uh, the, the Lenata Bay locals, they really keep this place nice. And, you know, there's uh, things that come with that kind of territory. And you can't make everybody happy, but you know what? you got to respect these guys. And uh, this is just one of the greatest spots in Southern California, one of the most consistent big wave breaks. Even when it's small, it's got good waves all winter long. And sometimes in the summer, if you get a southwest swell coming in here, just off Catalina a little bit, uh, middles will get a little left over there inside the bay. And um, I've seen big lefts coming up over here. Uh, nobody out, big, and pretty hairball. Most of the guys are kind of playing it safe off the peak here and into, into, into the bay. But uh, Rick's telling me he's seen it one time, and I've never seen it like this, but the left off Lanata Bay here, all the way over to Indicators, which is, I don't know. Into the beach, all the way to one wave, all the way. I, I was in the beach, I mean, as far as I could wrap, I seen a left coming around the around the top of the point and hitting all the way into Torrance Beach, literally to the lap into the sand. A one wave, one wave. All and way. nobody out, oh, no. nobody out, right? Hell no, hell no, there's 50 guys out, 1982. Oh. Minimum, minimum. But they were so stretched over a mile and, you know, one guy would make it go for a little bit. Sometimes it'd fade back and he'd drop off. You know, they were going for everything. And the, the hugest ones, though, definitely were wrapping the whole thing. And it was one giant face wave left coming all the way wrapping in. And, you know, sometimes guys were wiping out. Somebody would grab it a little farther in. The, in the, you know, they were maybe 10 guys would ride the same wave, you know, I mean, up to. It was so long. It was incredible. I, how far, okay, when this left breaks, how far would you say to indicator? I say, what, a half mile at the most? Oh, two indicator, no, all the way in, there was a two mile ride. Two, oh, uh, oh, through indicator, though, but all the way through, yeah. how, how far to indicator from here, you'd say? About less than a half mile, right? Half mile, solid, half solid, mile. solid, solid. Okay, well, maybe plus. We have video of this left coming off this point here, and you see it wrap around the point. I'll show you a couple of clips of that. But Rick's telling me that I've never seen it, oh, but he's telling me there's a left that breaks off here and will go all the way around indicators, about a half mile to the north, and then wrap into indicators through the cove, uh, through the ski jump, all the way over to Haggerty's, which is one of the last points here. Haggerty's passed through the rolling to the sand, literally, literally. In, you know, not, I mean, not down to the, uh, to the uh, harbor there, but I mean, back of that. And the harbor was just getting clobbered that day. I mean, it wasn't even a break. There was no way. Yeah, it, the, the, it was washing over the harbor that day, big time. They, had, they got that all over in a bunch of old videos. In 1982, we had to look it yeah, up. You remember, Rick, when we surfed Avalanche over on the other side here. I mean, you know, it looks like a big mush ball, but I, I actually had a pretty good time out there. It's uh, pretty... Pretty sharp uh, rock over there. Uh, you don't want to be stepping on that bottom, um, you know, but uh, I had a pretty good time. It, it's one of those waves that look, it's better than it looks. When you get out there, it's a pretty good wave, actually. Yeah, and it's a good... Come out over the top of it, and you're not, you can't tell that it's got a good face on it. But it's a good alternative for Lanata here when, you know, maybe, the you know, you're not totally welcome over here, which is a lot of times if you're an outsider, but uh, I've had some good times over at Avalanche, uh, great wave over there. And there is another spot around the corner, Resort Point. 
I do have a little good video of that. Nobody out, but um, I'm going to try to upgrade that and get some better video for you. Uh, that's another great alternative one. Lanada Bay is huge. Uh, resort point right around the corner over there around Avalanche. Uh, there's another right over there that's... Again, treacherous getting down the hill, even worse than this place. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's a little more tougher than last time we came down. Now, you came down this other path close to the point here, Rick, and uh, we tried to get down that, and it's all cliffed out right now. So we had to kind of go down to the next one. and uh, Pretty much, a, you know, big rain, spring erosion, and changes the hillside. Yeah. But, uh, see, I didn't go down that path, but you went down that path last time. Is it totally different now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Big chunks dropped. Heck, on the way here, it was a little slide, and a little tiny one right in front of me. I mean... You know, and you kind of got to be careful watching the rocks come down on you, especially on a big wave day. That's all there is to it because it's pounding the ground and, you know, these things thump out here and it makes the, you know, earth move. Literally, it's cannon fire. So the path down to Lanada today might not be so much the path down to Lanada tomorrow. <laughs> or the path down to Lanada today could be your last path down to Lanada Bay because it's steep and you could slip and fall pretty bad. I, I actually tried to go down that old path, the, the main one there, and uh, wow, I, 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 I turned around. <laughs> I walked right past it, man. Yeah, Rick, Rick did it a little farther and I thought he went all the way over to Avalanche and uh, I thought that was a little weak. There's one right over here, but uh, maybe Rick did me a favor and uh, made the right call. So that drop off in the middle of the main one is just kind of, there's a one spot that's kind of airy and you have to jump to an area that you could come away from you and yeah, end up in a, actually there's a bunch of brush and big rocks at the bottom, so uh, I don't know about that. It's just a beautiful bay. I mean, fishing's great. You got a couple of guys fishing over here on the inside a little bit. And uh, the main paddle out channel is over in that nook right there. There's one little sliver. I don't think you want to jump off right here, but this is where uh, all your buddies will be checking you out on the reef and um, uh, the main lineup pretty much out there. And there's a couple shelves out there. You might think you're way outside. Next thing you know, you're caught inside. And I do have a little video of demonstrating that uh, where you see these guys way out here at Lanada Bay. And I'll insert that for you. And all of a sudden, they're caught inside. And uh, it's pretty, It's this place uh, will definitely give you what you want and maybe a little more than you bargained for. What's the show called? Rick Meeks here with the Huntington Henry YouTube channel. Henry Surf Showcase, Rick. And we are here at the Lanada Bay Barbecue Pit. This is a homegrown pit built by the locals of Lanada Bay. And they're going to tear it out? What? <laughs> it's a professional job. And this whole uh, platform, I guess they were calling it a platform, I don't know, with a little hut that we were just in, uh, it's top-notch built. This ain't no monkey business down here, uh, construction. No, uh, look at this cover here. It's built to withstand some heavy rocks. There's potentially some big rocks coming down. They're, they're definitely going to be coming down pretty soon, too. I bet you they learned their lesson. Uh, they, the rocks were coming down when they're here checking out the just outrageous surf that comes into this bay. And uh, so they built this little uh, the structure here to keep the rocks. But come on, that's one of the nicest barbecue pits I've ever seen on the point of Lanada Bay. All the way around, all these rocks, all the way. I mean, you better bring good shoes because it's like, I had like regular tennis shoes on and I was hurting the bottom of my feet. The rocks are so sharp on the way over here and it is a heck of a hike. I mean, incredible. It's a good three quarters of a mile right here. If you go all the way around to the other side, which it was the only path that we could find that was like safe to come down, you know, so. Now the rocks, you could go barefoot, you know, if you're not totally howly foot. Holy he man. But normally here, uh, you know, it's okay to wear booties. You're not a kook wearing booties in the wintertime here at Lanada Bay. I mean, so uh, just wearing booties with your surfboard down here is good enough. You don't have to worry about it. But if you're just going for a little stroll on the beach, uh, me and Rick just got out of surfing a little while ago, and it was actually pretty good. Nobody out. <laughs> but uh, we're all down here now just hanging out. The best wave, too. 
Yeah, the tide kind of got a little weird right now, so uh, we might get it again a little before dark. The wind is offshore. Is the wind not offshore or what? Yeah, actually, kind of hairball that coming down that's causing little rocks to come flying down at you as you're walking up and down. It's kind of, I don't like it. <laughs> Now, you don't like offshore wind, Rick? No, I love the offshore wind as far as the waves are concerned, but I was talking about walking down the hill with a little big old dust cloud running behind you and rocks. There's yeah. a big ones up there, too. Just to prove it's offshore, let me grab a little ash here from the pit and then watch this. See, it blew that way. The uh, wind's kind of... I don't... Well, I threw it at the wrong time. There's a couple of gusts coming in. Yeah, it's, it's a little gusty. It's soft and then hard and then soft and hard. But when you're going into it on the top of a wave, it gives it some flare over the back. The wind is blowing pretty much that way. It kind of hits the cliff, comes around a little bit this way. But um, it, it is offshore wind here at Lanata Bay, and it's uh, afternoon. Where, where are you going to get that, Rick, huh? Mm. We'll tell them in the next uh, you know, installment. Answer Hawaii, Rick. <laughs> Yeah, this okay. this is Southern California. There's it's a V-Land. No, it's not V-Land. But uh, here we are at the world famous sharper rocks than V-Land. We're at the world famous barbecue here on the hut right over there, at Lanata Bay, gorgeous Southern California beach. It's a beautiful another beautiful day. I mean, come on, every day is a beautiful day here. Yeah. And uh, no, when it's wet and raining, uh, coming down this hill is very slippery, very slippery, incredibly slippery. Fishing's good. There's a lot of hazards. Don't take this place lightly. I mean, beauty can kill here. Uh, we'll, yep. And the locals. No, nah, I don't think the locals kill anybody. But, you know, there has been some run-ins, and those guys are just trying to keep this place clean. You know, some people, I guess, I guess you call them the uh, deplorables, undeplorables. <laughs> <laughs> a basket full of deplorables. I don't want the basket full of deplorables down here at Lanata Bay. Because <laughs> okay, they throw trash, they, they, and, and the locals are doing their job, you know, and they're actually nice guys once they get to know you and know that you're not one of the basket full of deplorables. And uh, anyway, I'm from Huntington Beach, and here I am at Lanata Bay, and yeah, you know, yeah, you know these weird trails, there was a nice little trail right over here behind us, and that was like the main trail last time we were here, but we haven't been here for a while, and all of a sudden that trail's gone, and because the, the cliffs are constantly coming down, and there's a guy's house right up here. I think there's somebody crawling down that, I see the little path right there. Oh, a guy coming down. Uh-oh. I have to go through the tunnel right there. I hope you know that guy, Rick. No. Uh. no. Anyway, there's a house right up on this hill here. I don't know. I, would you like to have your house? He's got a hose running down there. They got a hose running coming down. Okay, there's a. Oh yeah, what's the hose for to keep it nice and damp and kind of? I don't know. I'm wondering. Now that I'm seeing that. That's weird. Or it's a rope, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. It could be a rope for one of the heavy locals that wants to come right out of his house and go surfing, and he uses that kind of come. I don't know. Look at that. That's what it is. Look at the trail right there. Right there around the right of it. Instead of him walking all the way around, he's just going to come right down this, uh, hold on, let, let me get a shot of this, Rick. Look at this, you go across right there. Wow, look at this rope coming down the hill. You can see it there, it comes down the one property and then does a little left turn and then drops down. Have to get on a different angle, but then you can see this little trail that goes up and down right here. This guy's got it right from the point here, of course. He's got big coin living in that house, so of course he, of course he can afford a rope. Ha, but look at the way it's pinned in the wall going side to the left there around that one little ledge. So, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the full local entrance. <laughs> got a couple million, can afford that house? That's the local spot to get in. So Rick, uh, you're telling me that this guy probably lives in that house and he comes down that tether rope or whatever. It looks like a hose, but is it a rope? What is it? And he uses it to come down and surf Lanata Bay and, and come down this way and get out to the point instead of going down, walking way over there by oh, the It comes path. right there. It goes right there. See that? Right there, yeah. 
See that path right in front of us yeah. that leads up to the, it goes left underneath that little ledge okay, right there. I see it. And then you do a hook up over the top of that. Yeah. Boom. Follow the rope up. Okay, no problem. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll videotape you, Rick, and you show us how you do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not to mention it wouldn't be worth it. When I got to the top, uh, this guy would probably uh, shoot me. My mic. I'm the star of the show. I'm the host. No, come on, Rick. Rick's the co-host. He was trying to take my microphone away from me because we're he's getting a little excited. We're here at Lanada Bay on the the local platform. And you know, before I got here, I thought this would be kind of a you know a couple driftwoods pile up on a couple rocks. But no, this is this is top quality construction here. And we have a little fire pit here. We have a table. And we have the full-on dead center main peak where the, all the locals cheer their buddies on in the big waves out there. And uh, you could actually probably line up right on this uh, bench right here under this hut. So we're here, and it's a beautiful day again here at Lanata Beach Bay. Um, you know, there's been some scuffles going down here, and it's, there's rumors of the city wants to tear this down. And um, I just say, no way. This is one of the last treasures in the Southern California coast. Homegrown, built, top quality construction. Um, you probably see a little bit in the video here, a little bit of this uh, rock shelter. They thought of everything, because the cliffs come down. We have offshore winds right now blowing. Um, this, it's not, it's, this is pretty safe. This is a lot safer than that multi-trillion dollar house up on the cliff that looks like it's ready to fall down. But uh, it's really nice, man. They did a really fine job. I'm, I'm really surprised coming here and seeing this. I thought it was just going to be some driftwood piled up and, uh, and, and that was it. But uh, no, it'd be a real shame to tear this down. So what I can say is this winter, let's all get along, man. Okay, let's respect the beach, respect the locals of Palos Verdes, Lanata Bay, and respect what they're trying to do here. Uh, keep this a treasure. It's not they're being greedy like some of these people, you know. I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. I'm not a Coho Point fan. Uh, oh, those people owning the land and thinking they own the ocean. They don't own the ocean up there, okay? You can walk along the beach, but you're walking so far in, they're going to kick you out of there, and that's not cool. I've been into the ranch, uh, invited, and uh, there's nobody out. It's a total waste. And then these locals in Santa Barbara wonder why places like Sandspit and El Capitan get so crowded. It's because 10 miles of the best coast in Southern California, year-round basically, is private property but not, not the beach below the mean high tide line, which is the ocean, Coho Point, Government Point. But anyway, that's a whole other story. I'm here at Lanata Bay. This is open to the public. Uh, you come down at your own risk. Uh, you know, there's been stories of cars getting vandalized, stuff like that. So um, I think once you get to know these guys and, and you show them that you respect what they're doing here and you're not, you know, some scum guy coming in and some scum surfer there there's a few out there they just they want to come in they want to take off on you they want to paddle out in your way you know you don't want to take off on people out here and get in their way it's dangerous out here on big days it might look easy and sometimes look a little on the mushy side but it's it's a very powerful wave on any scale anywhere in the world lanada bay is a world-class winner destination for any Hardcore surfer. I don't care anywhere on the planet. Okay You know lower trestles. That's kind of cool. That's a hot dog wave. They, they say lower trestles is a, a World-class wave, but you know, that's kind of cool, but this Lanata Bay right here is way far beyond lower trestles. Okay during the winter months Sometimes you can catch some early swells October around Halloween time, you know um, but usually around November, Thanksgiving, it really starts kicking in here. December, January, February, that's when the tough guys come out and make it look easy here at Lanata Bay. 
And uh, you guys, you know, you, you surfer trolls, I call them, behind your computer screens, you know, watching videos, maybe coming out of here going, oh, look at those guys on the shoulder. Oh, look at this. You know what? It's easy to say that. I'll tell you right now, when you do video surfing, it knocks it down. You're out there. It's big. You videotape it, especially when you're on a 100-foot cliff on the, uh, on the cliff here looking down from, what, a quarter mile away? It looks a lot smaller. The game definitely looks different. But when you're out in the water and you're in the lineup and all of a sudden you're getting caught inside here at Lanata Bay and then you're being held under for a long time, one white water goes over. You hear another white water go over and you're down there plugging your nose. And the water is very clean here, but you can't see nothing. It's not like you can open your eyes and see anything. It's dark. And those rocks down there are sharp. They're pointy and they're sharp. So if you're not hitting the bottom, you could be 20, 25 feet underwater and on a good size 20 foot day, you're, you're 35 feet underwater. You better know how to plug your nose and equalize your ear pressure because you could pop an eardrum out here. It's one of those kind of places. So when you're sitting on looking on your computer screen, oh, I could go out there, it looks easier, it's just the local guys won't let me surf. No, you know what? Even if the local guys, most guys, oh, yeah, come on out. And guess what? You're on the news, uh, you know, swimmer, surfer drowns, Lanata Bay. You shouldn't be out here. If you don't really think you're up to it or if you come here on a big winter day, you know, I'm not going to be a pessimist about it. Plan on it being your last day on planet Earth, okay? That's how heavy this place can get, despite what you might think by looking at videos of this place, the few that do get released out here. And that's all I got to say about this place. If you do come down here, good luck getting out in the lineup. Respect the beach. You bring trash down here, you take it home. Don't leave it on the beach, man. This is one of the last really open to the public. You just got to get in with the stewards of the Lanata Bay, and they call them the bad boys of Lanata Bay. Just, just try to have a little chat with those guys and, and just tell them that, you know, you know, whatever. And maybe give it a, a try or two, and maybe you'll get in with those guys and uh, you'll gain their respect. But uh, you should respect those guys before you even think you deserve any respect coming here because this really isn't a playground here. This is for hardcore surfers. I'll tell you right now. This, there's a place, uh, La Jolla Cove in San Diego. It's really dry out here. The Santa Ana winds, my, <laughs> I'm starting to get a little lip chapped. But La Jolla Cove, San Diego is a big wave break, but it doesn't break very often. Lanata Bay in the winter, November, December, January, February, even into March, you come down here, you're going to get some waves. It'll break. You can surf this place like this big to, if you could get it as big as these cliffs, you know, and it comes in at the right angle, it'll hold it. it there, there's been stories it has closed out the bay, but it'll reform. This channel is very deep in the middle here. So maybe it, it's kind of like, like, you ever seen Waimea Bay? It's kind of like Waimea Bay. It's California's Waimea Bay. That's exactly what it is. Some of those guys, Waimea, it closes out. And I don't know if you guys saw it or remember Kelly Slater coming into that wave, full closeout, and then he connected the Y water into the shore, break comes left, and just gets the big giant shacker. Well, guess what? That's mostly sandbar on that shore break at Waimea Bay. This is rock. Uh, middles is in the middle, and it does uh, tube over pretty good, and it's pretty heavy, but the bottom's really not forgiving. So if, um, you know, if you want to pull into something like that, uh, uh, comment me or message me here on, on uh, YouTube, and let me know you're going to do that so I can get that, because uh, you'll get high praise, high respect for me anyway, because uh, that's pretty radical to pull into a pit here at Middles. But anyway, it's just a beautiful day here at Lanata Bay. I'm really stoked to be here. Uh, my buddy Rick here, come over here, Rick. He's helping. Uh, r r what? Well, yeah, because it's on battery saver. It's on, come on, come on over here, Rick. Rick's kind of camera shy, but uh, he's really helped me out. Come down here. We we tried to come down that path. He was here last time, and uh, the path is gone. Yeah, it's way gone. All right, you get out of the shot. It's mine okay, now. Okay, it's all Rick.
Here's a first, a Huntington Beach local kicking me out of Lunada Bay. Okay, tell me to get, out of get the hell out of here. This is Lunada Bay. Don't you know where the hell you are? This is the bad boy town of Los Angeles, California. That's right. Look out. The locals are bad boys. They truly will mess with you. Throw rocks at you as you're walking down the hill. Not to mention the, the walk down the hill is pretty dangerous when it's, when it's wet out there and it's, after it's been raining. The hill gets very slippery, very dangerous getting down here. And then get down to danger zone. The rocks on the bottom are very sharp. They will kick, cut you in places you don't want to know. Personally know that. You get held down for a long time, and you're better at this than I am. Don't take off on me. And don't take off on me. I'm Rick Meeks. That's right. Well, you'll hear, hey, and don't look back. All right, let's go. I'm done. I want to go home. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. Let it out. We taking that? Well, Rick, we're leaving a lot of day, and the car is in one piece. Yes. And we didn't even get beat up. High five, brother. Thanks except, a lot for coming along. The climb back up the hill, as you will see, or as you saw, is hairball. That top part is slick, even when it's dry. That was scary. Anyway, bye. Don't be stupid like us, and don't drink. Uh, don't, don't, don't forget your friggin' water. <laughs> and for Rick. Don't forget your cigarettes. Oh. That was probably the most deathly thing to not have cigarettes, huh, Rick? That's probably... I have cigarettes. Oh, you did? Okay. Make sure you have this. Okay. The kind. All right. Well, that's the latest for Lanata Bay. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel video. And uh, this is Huntington Henry with Surfer Rick. Henry Surf Showcase on YouTube. Aloha from the shores of Lanata Bay. You got it. Palos uh. Verdes, California. Tell them Han and Rick sent you. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh. This is the top parking lot to Lanata Bay. You'll notice no cars right now. It's because it's a late September off season. Pretty much flat spell, waves maybe one foot maximum. Uh, we waited for a weekday around 10 a.m. hoping the, all the little spoiled kids would be in school and those rich guys in those houses would be busy looking at their stock portfolios or whatever they do. Seemed to be a good plan. Looking down on the beach, very steep cliff here. Once you're down there, it's the ultimate Roman gladiator pit. They will throw huge rocks from up top at you down below. Uh, this is the first leg down of the path. Notice right now the earth is very dry. It's crumbly. It's a Santa Ana condition. It's probably about 90 plus degrees uh, down here on the beach right now at Lanata Bay. Um, it's a long walk out to the point. This is the second leg down, the most steepest part of this pathway. Yeah, it's a narrow, windy, and a big drop-off ledge. I actually reversed this, and we were actually coming up and I'm going down. Listen to Rick as he's coming up the hill here. Yeah. You dying? Yeah. Okay. You know, you're almost to the top. That's because we forgot our water and he was all dehydrated. Uh, this is the third leg down. Uh, once Looks you make good. it past the first two, you're, good. you're looking pretty good. But uh, during the winter months, this can get really wet and slippery. And as you come down here and you make this right-hand turn, uh, you could actually slip into those bush right there. Uh, it's still pretty steep. Uh, not really seeing it in the video here but there's another little ledge right into those bushes and you don't want to end up in there uh, right now i wouldn't be surprised if there's a rattlesnake or two during the summer months in those bushes and rocks so i was kind of careful and uh, wore some high shoes for that now you're down on the main beach you notice there's just a small little path through those bushes and you are fully exposed to big rocks coming flying from up top 
above and your only defense would be trying to run back up and get under that ledge right there uh, once you're down on the beach and the rocks come flying it's very dangerous right now we're going to take a little walk down the long point you'll notice really not much of a path here uh, especially when the, the surf is big and the tide's high you'll be pinned up against these cliffs uh, just a little past where we are right now is the main paddle out channel um, as we walk out to this point it's a little shaky I'm going to go ahead and play some music for you. It's from one of my old 90s bands. Uh, the song is called Steppin' Out. We called the band one Stiff One. And after this uh, song, we'll be at the hut platform, and I'll just give you the natural ambient sounds of Lanana Bay. Things I had to say I've spoken freely and seen it's dark crusty I'm in the middle, no one on my side If things don't settle down, I know there's gonna be a fight Got reason, I'm calling you out You went across me
here from where I'm standing too. Oh, you can't edit stuff. Well, out. you know, cropping. I don't get into that on video. On pictures, yeah. I don't have really good video stuff. Yeah, I'm not that good at video. Yeah, I'm really 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 good at video. It's got drainage and everything. They're getting a wave. Alright. Okay, one big pan. Sharper, but it's way shorter.
go, yo, bro, what's happening? Hey, what, what, tell me what's happening. That's what I was told. Now, what's the story? Who's paying me? What's going on? I guess I better talk to him. Um, yeah, but, well, you, I'm having my day off today. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to send you a picture and show you how gorgeous this place is. Cheese. 